Hey everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today, um, we'll be doing a mod spotlight for the Dragon Ball Z mod. It's actually called Dragon Block C, but ignore this, we're going to come on to that later. So first, let's start off with the weapons. Now, um, this is called a katana. Um, so what you do, you make a katana blade with uh, seven iron, shaped like this, and you get a katana blade. Then, with two levers like that, the left lever and iron ingo in the middle you get a katana hill and combine those two together you'll get a katana now katana is a um, good weapon but if you want a better weapon for example you want a brave sword that I think trunk has I think that's the one that trunk has okay you need a catching shot you get those I think you get those from um, either crafting it or well I know you can get it from wishing from the dragon okay so with a catching shot, you com you put that in the middle with two katana blades, and you get a brave sword blade. And with iron, two iron here, here, two leather here, here, and a catching shot there, you will get a brave sword heel. And uh, combine those together, you will get a brave sword. Now, if you want to get the Z sword in Dragon Ball Z, I'm sure you guys, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, be sure to see it. It's a really fun, it's a really good sword, and it was funny when Go um, Gohan broke it actually. So, with um, to break to make a Z sword blade, you need three catching shards in the middle, and two brave sword blade um, right next to the middle one. Okay, now to make the Z sword hilt, you need a gold ingot on here, here, and a lever here, here. So really, what you really need for these stuff is like mainly um, leather because and catching shard to make these. And the catching shot here to make a Z sword heal. And as always, combine those two together, you get a Z sword. I know these are the same, but don't get mixed up. Now, we're moving on to the armor. So, with, uh, I think it's called Warren Eye Crystal, you can make um, battle armor torso. So, shape basically how you normally make armor, but with Warren Eye Crystal. Okay. So, um,. To make like the armor with color, you can use cocoa beans. So, example, I think this. I don't know if this gets you gets um, the protection up, but it'll be really funny because if it does, because all we did put was cocoa beans, <laughs> cocoa bean powers. Wee! But you know, um, so you put cocoa beans like that with the battle armor, the white battle armor here. You get like that. So the same with that, but with the leggings uh, or the skirt armor, you put ink sack here as well, and this is the same. Now, if you don't live in the jungle, um, you can, okay, ah, crap, you can use, okay, coal and sugar, well, basically, actually, you can use anything for the cook, but you can cook sugar, and they will turn into cocoa beans, so quickly, let's wait, come on, come on, cocoa beans, I'm waiting for you, okay, so you can get cocoa beans, now I'm going to stop cooking, now, then we're moving on to more colour, so, this has like just purple, a little bit of black, well, more black there, but this one, if you want like a full black thing, so it's just like, basically what it's like there, but instead you put ink sack as well, so just make it like black there, there, instead of that, so there's like two there, you can just do one, but you can, if you, see which one like you like better, if you like this one, then do like that, if, but if you like this one better, do like that. Okay, now we're moving to my favourite part actually to the um the armor that they wore in Dragon Ball Z. So this is the Turtle School. So basically uh, in Dragon Ball when Goku went to Master Roshi to learn they had to wore this. Well and the Turtle Shop of course and this is what it looks like. It looks really cool. Uh let me just wear it on for you and that's Dragon Ball schooling. Look at that. Just look at that. It just looks so cool. Um so that's that. Um let's put this back. Come on. Now that's the one that Goku wore. Um, this was the one Vegeta wore. Um, it's not Turtle School, but this is what Vegeta wore. Oh, for Dragon. So, like that. Um, at first I wasn't sure, but I saw the white boots and the blue pants. I was like, oh, that might, that's what Vegeta wore. And this is what Piccolo, well, Namkin. Uh, Nam oh, I can't pronounce it. Nam Namkin. Well, whatever. Um, in the Planet Namek, that's what people wore, like this. Um, Piccolo wore this. Now, we're moving on to the future jacket. I think this was worn by Trunks in the future. Or, wait, Goku wore this as well um, in Dragon Ball GT. 
So this is what he wore. Well, I'm not. I don't know about that, but I know he wore like a blue, um, like a shirt. Yes, yeah, so something like that. Okay, now we're moving to the technology part. By the way, there's more stuff to like the armor. There's more armor. There's more armor for this as well. So there's more color armor for that, and there's more like different armor for this. Okay, now moving to the technology. So you can make a dragon radar. That's um, a dragon block radar. Only dragon blocks that are not stone fire can be detected. So these are the dragon balls, but let's see if I can find it. Um, nope. Okay. So basically, what there is, okay, um, is this dragon balls that's turning to stone, not because it's being used, but because it's been too long for it to use. Okay, dragon balls. I get it. I'm coming to you. Okay. So if a tech chip tier one and four iron here and a warrenite crystal, you can get a dragon radar. Well, actually, you can get 10 Dragon Raider, that's just what it says on the Minecraft forum. And here is the Warren Ice, um, or you can get them from either wishing or mining them out. I can show you what it is, okay. So now, to make a tier chip 1, to make a tech chip tier 1, sorry, you need a gold here, iron here, redstone here, four cactus, no, three cactus screen, three Warren Ice crystal down here. You'll make three tech chip, sorry guys, three tech chip tier 1. Now, to upgrade it to a tier tech chip tier 2, you need lapis, glowstone, lapis, free tech chip tier 1. Oh my god, it's like a tech chip tier 1, it's like a tons of some. And glowstone, lapis, and glowstone here to make a tier chip 2. Now, to make a tier chip 3, you need a lapis, diamond, lapis, f um, tech 2, tech chip tier 1, and a tech chi chip oh my god and a tech chip tier 2 here and diamond lapis and diamond to make a tier te oh my god tech chip tier 3 now what you need a tech chip te tech chip tier 4 is for scouters um well also with um uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 with 8 warren eye crystal and a tech chip tier 2 in the middle you can make a space board you can go to planet vegeta planet namek and planet earth well and to make a scouter you need glass yellow dye um or any dye depending on what color you want or in a crystal and a tech tip and a tech chip tier one okay but if some mobs their power are really high the tech the, the scouters will blow that's why you need better tech uh scouters okay so to make better scouters all you need is the tier the tier that's above so tech tick tech chip tier 2 with the tech the yellow scouter tier 1 in the middle to make a yellow scouter tier 2 now to make it tier 3 we need the surrounded tech with tech chip tier 3 in with a um, yellow scouter tier 2 in the middle okay now we're moving this part so i have a dragon radar here and i don't know why it's not working but normally when there's a dragon um wait let's go far away and see if this works If I put it here, well, actually, I don't know why it's not working, but okay. Normally, um, y there will be like um blocks that shine it in, telling you what the dragon block is. So, um, the dragon ball or the dragon block, um, that's where you know, but it only shows the one that's not stone fired. So, like these. Okay, so these are the Namek um, dragon blo blocks. The one you can find um, in Namek. I'll show you that. Oh, what that. Yeah, I'll probably show you. This is the one you can find on Earth. So, how do we make the Shinron come out? It's basically, you put it in a H shape and you click the middle one. Look at that. Look at that. Now, okay, so you can wish. Uh, alien chip, that's basically the tech chip. Warren Eye Crystal, Senzu, Senzu Bings, um, Catching Shard, as I said, and Diamond. So I'm, I'm just gonna. Crap. It's not that good, but you know. Okay, so we're moving to the Namek Dragons, and boom! Look at that. As always, the Namek Dragon is better than the Earth one. So if I get Diamond, boom! I get 15 Diamond instead of 1. And look at this. Okay. Choo! so cool 
Okay, so now we can move on to the Saiyan bit. I don't know why now it turns dark. It meant to turn dark when you gave the dragon, but I think if it's in dark time, it turns to day. If it's in the daytime, it turns to dark. So in like. Okay, so now uh, let's move on to the Saiyan thing. So if you press J, um, you get to select. You have DBC experience, and when you have five DBC experience, it's basically killing um the mobs that's come that came in in Dragon Block and. With that, you can get training points. I only need one more. I'm sorry, but with those, you can upgrade. So to get health, which is the this thing here, that was here. So if you look, 140 health. If I get attacked, um, my the health won't get this health will get damaged, but also my normal health will get damaged, but not as much. And Kai or Ki, it's actually called Ki, Chi or Kai, if you like to call it. Um, that is basically your power. So I can get Kame Kame Heart and that. Now, um, you can get like Kai Dash, that's basically going really fast. Kai Punch, you can punch really like your punch will be more powerful. Kai Fly, if you press F. Um, to go fast, you press R. To jump, you press X. Choo! And again, um, Kai Fly, Kai Punch. To punch, you just normally punch, but you have to have Kai. And when you fly, you can press Control just to hover. But you will go down, like, so that's why you have to keep on pressing F if you want to go higher. Now, ascending means to change to Super Saiyans, and Kai attack power is basically Kamehameha, uh, all the other Kai attacks will do more damage. So let's, let me just quickly show you Super Saiyan. Because my ascending is in 5, I can go to Super Saiyan 1 really fast. So let me just... How to ascend is pressing G, so you go boom, Super Saiyan 1. Now, when you go to Super Saiyan, um, your Kai doubles, so you can have more Kai. Now, let me go to Super Saiyan 2. It's really noisy, so I'm really sorry about this. Okay, now I'm in Super Saiyan 2. Now my Kai triples. So let me just quickly get all my Kai's up. Okay. I'm sorry that this is really noisy, but look at it. Now it's 570. But your Kai does go down because you're in Super Saiyan. But when you jump, choo, it's like about 20 blocks. When you run, choo, it's like really fast. Um, when you fly, even faster. And... Um, when you punch, it's even more powerful, even if even though it's in one. So to press um to um D ascend, you press H and see. I mean, super saying I'm not I'm not even saying that. Okay. No, now I've got a space for Let me show you one thing. So this is is thank you very much. Um, so if I if you want to go to Kami's lookout, you do slash TP your name seventy five two hundred sixty five, and uh, I go to Kami's lookout. Let me just quickly fire. Um, no, just let me find game mode. I can go to Super Saiyan 5 faster, but who cares? Okay, now look, there's Kami. Um, you can learn Kai Attack, or you can also cut hairs. So, when you first um get the game, don't oh wait, get the game. No, when you first load it up your world, you have a select hair option, and you can select your hair. There's four types of hair. So cut hair, learn Kai Attack. So I'm gonna learn Kami Kami Heart and show you guys. So what you do is you middle click with your mouse, and then you get to choose the options. And then now come and come in heart. Cost 12 Kai, damage 18. As I said, the more higher your Kai attack power is, the more powerful it will be. Then you right click, and then boom, you shoot this. Now if you're in Super Saiyan, you'll be even more powerful. Now, if you die, you don't spawn in the normal world. You spawn into King Yama's place. If you don't know who King Yama is, he's basically the guy who chooses wherever you go to the hell, or you go to heaven. Now, if you go to the back of the um, King Yama's place, there'll be a snake head and that's basically the snake way and then if you go through the snake way you'll get to um, um king kai's place and the gravity there is just intense okay so now um this is basically like most of the mod it's there's so many other cool things now one last of the last thing i'm going to show you is c3 planet i'm going to go to namek um this will be the last the thing i'm going to do so let me quickly go to namek Hello. Hello. So as you can see, I'm in Namek. Um, used to make a big parade, but not anymore. Okay, to take the Dragon Balls. Uh, Dragon Balls. Sorry, I just seen that. See, that's a stone Dragon Balls there. Thank you very much. Oh my God, I'm having the last best luck. Now, you just get in there, you press Escape, and you have your space port back. Okay. Now, just to show you something. Uh. Okay, they don't attack me. The hostile. See, once you block them, you still get the Namek Dragon Block. So, as you can see. Now, let me go to Super Saiyan. 
Come on. Oh. Come on. Okay, um, you know, this is most of the, there's some other things for you to discover, so that's for you only to discover. So, um, I'm to see if you, I can reach, um, I don't know, 10 lights, I don't know. Um, yeah, explode on the ground. So guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you did, press that like, favor, also subscribe. Um, if I get 10 likes, I'll do another mod. And, you know, thanks for watching. Hope you have a lovely day, and...